welcome to my channel yeah today we're going to be doing something so so interesting something that's very very interesting yeah and that is making pinterest inspo mini lunch box cakes mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so i was on pinterest one day and i saw this video and i was like is that a mini cake like i literally said that half loud like is that a mini cake mm? i don't think i've ever seen something miniature as that i know that there are miniature things you know that people do every time cooking miniature cooking and all of that but to be honest that's just it i've never seen a mini cake and it's so i don't know i don't know if i sound weird to you but like it's the truth so i was doing my research and i found out that they're actually called bento cakes or miniature cakes or mini cakes and i was like <laughs> Why am I so late to this party? Like, I know I'm always late to things like this. I was just so shocked. Like, when did it happen? How did it happen? And I saw lots of YouTubers that did it. And I was like, hmm, okay, this is good. And I watched a couple of videos and I was really, really interested. And kudos to these YouTubers because they are doing wonders. Wonderfully well. Yeah. And immediately I saw all of this. My inner baking self came out and said yes we must try this like just take a look at these pictures i didn't know beautiful like ah, oh my god so i went to the kitchen i was like okay let's go to the kitchen let's try this out i was ready i was pumped all my ingredients are complete everything is ready to make this bento cake and then something went wrong Okay, so guys, let's begin. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to be using this, um, what would I say, is it pre-made um, flour? Yeah, you just have to pour it. Okay, so, like, so this is the cake mix that I'm saying. This. Honestly, if you're not really good at baking, I feel like this is the best for you to use because making your own, uh, I don't know, your butter or your cake mix from the beginning is just going to, I don't know, it might not even be right. I don't know how to put it, but you guys understand. So it's better to just use this if you're not good. So they said um, we should add one cup of water, one third cup of butter, and three eggs. Okay, so now to our buttercream. This is the cake we're going to be making. This one, this one, and this. So this cream, we're going to change the color to brown and white. And for the pink, it's going to be blue and white. This blue and white, this is going to remain like this. Okay, so I saw an article on BBC Good Food on how to make a very good butter cream icing yeah i've tried buttercream 
a lot of time, but I don't seem to like get it properly. Maybe the consistency, maybe I think it's the consistency that is wrong. I don't understand. But today, I saw this article, I'm going to be following this article very well. Now, method step one beat 600 grams sifted icing sugar and 300 gram butter together with your chosen flavoring or and coloring if using add two to three tablespoon of boiling water to loosen and beat onto smooth Okay, this is done, and we'll add 300 grams of butter. Three hundred grams of butter. not easy. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, so we're done with our buttercream. Now it's time for us to add our coloring and flavor. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my gosh. I think this is the color that we need. This is the right color. Yeah. Chocolate. So we're going to be using the chocolate um, color, uh, chocolate flavor. The chocolate brown color. Mm. Okay. 
you want this one very thick you want it very thick Okay, we're going to put this inside the freezer. Okay, our cake is done. So we're going to pull it out and put it inside the freezer also for about 15 minutes. We need it to be cool. While the cake and the icing are cooling, we're going to clear this place. So, I'll be right back. Butter from the beginning myself and that's why this thing is like all over the place we're going to make it work because I couldn't make um, a lot of shape so we're turning everything into a uh, round shape
video very well. I planned it. I planned it. But look at this. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I should have made my own cake mix from the scratch. Maybe that kind of cake mix that I use is not meant for, I don't know, a normal cake. I don't even know what happened. I followed the recipe. I've always been using this and they're always going well. It is now when I need the cake to come out well, to be all right, then it went on me. I use cake, this, especially this brand's cake mix very well. They're so lovely. Maybe it was during my mixing or during the cooking process. I don't know. Something went wrong. I'm sorry if you're a baker and you saw the mess that I made or you'll see what I'm doing right now. Please forgive me. I don't know what happened. Anyways, I really hope that I can try it next time. Yeah, I'm going to try it like without the camera first and see how it goes. I'm going to practice very well, then come back here to do it. But that will be another time. Yeah, so that was how I made a bento cake or a miniature cake that went wrong. And it was not a Pinterest worthy. Mm -mm, it wasn't Pinterest worthy at all. Like, what is this? I brought it again. I had to refrigerate that one so I can show you guys. What is this? No, please just tell me what is this <laughs> and then maybe my buttercream was too soft maybe that's another thing it was too soft okay so guys thank you so much guys for watching this video if you love it if you enjoyed it even though it wasn't what we wanted to do please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you please subscribe thank you very much and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye!